Okay, it looks like Facebook is on. Like Facebook is on and I'm waiting for YouTube. I think YouTube was online. Test out the chat. Do, do, do. I don't have paint on my face today before we start. Okay, testing. I think we good. Alex, do you want to say something? I think your mic is off. Not showing up. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Okay, how about now? Alex, can we hear you? Can you hear me? I don't know. Can you guys hear him? All right, I think we're ready to roll. How do you feel? Feeling good. Feeling good. All right. All right, hey guys, welcome. So my name is Marina. I'm joined here by Alex, my fiance. Everyone. <laughs> and if you guys um, have not heard of us, uh, we're creatively. So we're essentially a paint party in a box. And we're basically here to bring you guys together through creativity. And we're hoping to create um, a sense of community and interaction during these crazy times. Um, so let me just check the chat for a second. We'll be ready to start in a couple of minutes and I'm going to switch my views. Um, so I'm going to go over my setup real quick and I'll give you guys 10 minutes to set up. So today we're obviously, we're painting this really awesome holiday painting. It's called deck the halls. Let me just take this away. And I just want to make an announcement, guys. So we do have a couple of spammers in the group. So please do not click on their links. Make sure if you guys need the outline, make sure you're clicking on an official creativelybox.com link that we send out from Creatively. Okay, so make sure you're not clicking on any other links and not giving your credit card information to anyone else. That was my PSA for today. That's it. Um, and Alex, did you post the link? Which link? For the, the traceable? I the outline? did not yet, but I have it here available. Awesome. And if Alex is posting, you guys can click on Alex's link, but make sure to not click on anything else. And are you able to pin it? Okay, so while Alex is doing that, I'm going to go over my supplies, guys. And Alex, I'm going to need your help to check. Okay, so are you able to pin this? Let me try to pin this. I'm actually able to block all of it. Sorry guys, give us a second. Okay. All right, we see Ruth is on from Puerto Rico. This is the first time we have someone from Puerto Rico in the house. Okay, internationally, here we go. All right. Uh, we have people from South Carolina, welcome. Okay. So if you guys are looking at my supplies, so actually, um, if you guys have gone on the website on Creatively, you'll be able to order a really pretty box. Let me show it to you guys with all of these supplies in it. So it's really easy and you get everything you need for this painting sent directly to your house. So you could just get to the fun part right away. So we have our 12 by 12 canvas. Check. 
We have our palette paper, shiny Let's... side up. Shiny side up, you say? That seems like a good idea. Check. Okay, we have five colors of paint. Five colors of paint. We have phthalo blue, my favorite. Phthalo blue. Possibly White. my favorite blue as well. White, yellow, red, and black. So it's basically the primary colors plus black and white. And then we also have our cup with water, and it's labeled very strategically here. I don't know if you guys can see it, so I'm trying to turn Do this. Do I sense some the camera. merch? Some what? A little potential merch. Give it away. Oh, never. I, I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. So we have our cup with water, and we also have our two brushes. So today we're using, actually every time we're using, our flathead brush, this is a size 16. And then we're also using our round head brush. This one is a size four, but you guys can use any brushes you want. Um, so as long as you have a small brush and a big brush, um, you're all set. Big brush, small brush, check. Thank you, Alex. And then we have our paper towel. I feel like that's a, an add-on, but I like it. Check, always for cleanliness. <laughs> And then we also have our design outline. So today we're actually going to be using a design outline for, I think, the second time. I um, believe you are correct. Yeah, so we actually have a link. Um, Alex has posted it. If you guys need the design outline, if you don't want to use it, you're more than welcome to draw it out on your own. Totally cool. Um, but we'll be using this today. And then we also have our tracing paper and graphite paper. I didn't hear the checks. Check and check. Thank you. Um, is that it? Did I go through everything? I think so. Um, and then we also have our adult beverage. So actually you can't really see what I'm drinking, but this is a white Russian for the first time. A little Super ironic, excited. dare we say. This, and this is not paint water, just in case you guys are wondering. So, and Alex, what about you? Considering I made your, your white Russian. You did. Thank you. I am drinking one of my own as well. I decided to join yeah. you in the ventures today. Hello from Texas, from Maryland, from Canada. Okay, so we have two um, country, international countries in the house. Awesome to have you guys here. Welcome. So we are going to get started in just a couple of minutes. Let me know where you guys are from. Let me know what you guys are drinking tonight. Just comment in the chat. And also, I'm just going to mention we might have a small giveaway later tonight. So the more you comment in the chat, the more chances you have of winning this giveaway. And we'll give uh, more information on that later. Well, I see. So you, you get to tease it, but, you know. I do. Well, you could tease it also. If I just say anything, it's just the worst. <laughs> New Jersey in the house, New York in the house. So we are actually streaming from Wisconsin. Queens. From Queens, New York. Australia. No way. Wow, okay, well, I see you. Is it like welcome 10 a.m. Welcome from there? across the globe. Or 8 a.m., what time is it there right now? It's a great time. <laughs> it's never too early to start drinking. Oh, no. Okay, so should we get started? Should we wait a couple more minutes? What do you think? Yes, sir. We reiterate our PSA. Okay, we're gonna reiterate the PSA uh, one other time. So we have a few spammers in the group. They're sending a bunch of links. Do not click on those links and do not give your credit card information. Anywhere. Anywhere, thank you. Make sure um, we have a cybersecurity official... analyst in back. Um, so I make I'm sure that- insulted by being called an analyst. <laughs> So guys, if you need the design outline, make sure that you're clicking on an official Creatively Boxed link. So it should be creativelyboxed.com. 
Okay, yeah, and don't, don't click, click on any other links. Okay, that's my second PSA. Done. Done. Okay. So I think we're ready to start. What do you think, Alex? I think it's go time. Okay, I think it's go time. It's 8.12. We're like two minutes behind schedule. We've got to get started. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take my large brush. And I'm going to hold it up. And we're going to start with our pledge. So please repeat after me. I promise. I promise. To relax and have fun. To relax and have fun. To not judge my painting. To not judge my painting. Or the painting of others. Or the painting of others. We'll always do that. Have and it. to be fearless. And to be fearless. I want to bring Cheers. it Cheers. We're ready to go. I'm so ready. Okay, I got to switch my camera views. I don't know why I have it on myself right now. Okay. So we are going to start with this design outline. So I actually have my graphite paper here. So I'm going to put the graphite paper, the darker side down. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. And then I'm going to put my design outline here. So the key to this is actually to not put it straight down but to tilt it just a little bit, um, just so you have a little bit of movement. And it, it just looks so much cuter that way. It's like, you know, trying to get through the snow and it's not going perfectly straight. So this little tilt is just giving it a little bit of movement. And that way it just doesn't look so stiff. And then I'm gonna put my tracing paper on top of it. Okay. So then I'm actually, so I actually forgot to um, include this in our supplies. So this is actually a colored pencil, but you could use a pen, you could use a pencil, you could also use a crayon. So just whatever you have um, in order to trace this. And if it's colorful, it's actually a little bit easier to see. Okay, so I'm gonna start tracing this drawing and it's pretty simple, it's very easy. I'm just holding this down and I'm just starting to trace. Let me just put it a little bit lower. Can you hear the crinkling? Is that the best part? I don't know. You tell me. And it doesn't need to be perfect because you could cover all of it up with paint. So as long as you have the general design, you're good. I'm like about to knock over my drink. Make sure we know which cup is which. Very key. Very important. Very key. Very key. Clearly labeled as well. Very, very much labeled. Okay, so I'm tracing this. It's not perfect. I'm just getting the overall shapes down. And if you guys are drawing it out without the design outline, it's just very basic shapes. So it's just a bunch of um, rectangles and circles. So it's, it's very, very easy. Oh, Alex, I see you're commenting as creatively now. Thank you. Oh. No, it's good. I'm excited to see how you guys are going to customize your license plates because there's just so much that you could write on there other than ho, ho, ho. But that's the most classic, obviously. Classy or classic? Classic. <laughs> okay, let's see how it came out. 
okay so now if you guys want you could fix up some of the lines just by using a, a pencil um, but i'm just gonna leave it here i'm gonna cover it with paint anyway so it doesn't really matter thank you ida amen let me block some of them while i have some downtime So Alex, you could actually um, I've been trying. block them on your side, or you can't. How are you guys doing on your outline? Is anyone ready to paint? We have a lot of people from Canada. So awesome. Oh, we got some coming in from the South. We got Georgia in the house, too. We got a full multi national. Multi international crew? Yeah. Oh, so awesome. And guys, if you're just joining us, welcome. Um, so we just finished tracing the design. So now we're going to get to painting. So I'm actually, I'm going to take my large brush and I'm going to create a light bluish white grayish color. Um, so I actually need a name for this color because I can't keep on referring to it as like bluish whitish gray. So if anyone could give me a name, that would be super helpful. Alex, do you have any suggestions? For a blue? It's like a light, smoky, grayish blue. Wow. I'm glad we're, <laughs> I'm glad why we're trying need, to be this concise. Why need a name. You know, they say right to the point is key. <laughs> so no, no suggestions? N none at this moment. I I'm just still taking the whole bluish, grayish lighter smokish so someone actually named this color country blue last time we created it which was pretty awesome um but let's see what you guys can come up with winter sky Ooh, i like it okay um we're just gonna go with that so we're gonna create winter sky so i'm just gonna take a lot of white and i don't know if you guys can see what i'm painting i'm gonna put this up a little bit so i'm gonna take a lot of white and then I'm just doing a, just a tiny bit of blue. And I think I maybe even put too much. So I'm just going to add more white to it. And then just an even tinier bit of black just to make it a tiny bit gray. So let's see what happens here. And you could always um, fix the proportions of this to get a, di a slightly different color. So I, I'm making it a little bit more white because I want it to be lighter. Seems about right for this winter gray, winter blue, winter sky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> winter sky. Okay, so I think I, I like this color. So just keep mixing it until, you know, you're, you're happy with it. So I'm just going to cover everything but the design with this color. So I'm actually going to just paint in horizontal strokes and just cover my entire canvas with this color and I'm going to keep on mixing more and more of it and it's going to look slightly different which is actually good because you want that variation in your color. And if you guys are just joining us, welcome. Um, we do have a giveaway later tonight. So if you continue comments, ooh, Alex just was like, what? That was we a low-key drop. You're like, what? Low-key drop. 
So just if you guys sneaking keep... the big news in. I see how it is. Yeah. Well, this is the second time I sneaked it in. So uh, we're going to select someone from the chat. So the more you guys comment, the more chances you have of winning. But don't get too crazy. Um, and the spammers are not going to count. So I'm just going around my design. And even if I get it a little bit into the design, it's fine because I'm going to cover it up later. The, what is the prize? What yes. is the prize? You're going to have to we'll wait. We'll have to wait and see. So excited. Are you? Yeah. Even I don't know. And I feel like this painting would make a pretty awesome gift for the holidays to someone special. What do you think? Completely agree. Because who doesn't love a little bit of like DIY art in their life? A little holiday cheer right now? A little holiday cheer. I think we could all use a, a little, little bit of that. A little at the halls. Everyone could use a little holiday cheer right now. Feeling super festive. Are you? Now that I'm painting this masterpiece i am wait hold on you're painting what you know what the figurative painting there's no need for this so i'm kind of going around my tree with my brush and if you guys want you could use the smaller brush to get around the edges of your design Do we have any first time painters in the group? Let me know. Alex, you're not a first time painter. I am a frequent painter, especially in the mind. That was, that was a little deep there. Uh, you know, just in case you tried to pull anything on me. I was ready. So I'm just covering up my canvas and going around my design. So I think I'm going to switch to my large, uh, my small brush in a little bit just to get the edges here. And my winter sky color is not perfect. It's kind of a mix of different variations of that color so it doesn't really matter and those variations are going to look really pretty in the end i'm scared to like dip this into this cup because i don't know if it's my paint cup or not that's why it's so awesome and hidden
So I'm just taking my small brush and I'm just going into some of these edges. More of a behind the scenes painter. Who are you? The white Russian's pretty delicious. I think it's our first time drinking that together. Probably. That used to be my favorite drink in college. You know that? We were fancy like that. It was much simpler. The Keystone? Or Captain Morgan. <laughs> oh, we do have a, at least one first admitten first timer. First timer, Cindy, welcome. Super excited for you, Cindy. I am too, because it's, it's always scary to start something new, right? But like you got to dive in, right? You got to dive in and just enjoy the process and not really worry about how it comes out in the end. Because what's the worst that, that could happen, right? Just blame the adult beverage. You could always, yeah. Well, sometimes it comes out better that way. But you could always paint right over it and just completely cover up your old painting. So it, you can never mess up. Okay, so let me switch back to my large brush i'm just gonna cover up some of these areas but i'm pretty much almost done covering up my background how's everyone else doing oh we have a couple coming out of the woodwork now what we have a couple coming out of the woodwork okay love it thank you um in there cherry breaking the go in the for the first time exciting i like the blue you do the wintry sky you i mean? do like the wintry blue it's very pretty it's like a very calming color It's soothing in my head. <laughs> okay, so I'm. This is a bonus step, sort of. So I'm just gonna take some white paint and I'm just gonna create some hills in the back. So it's gonna be pretty much where my truck, the top of my truck is gonna end. So I'm just creating some hills. I'm kind of blending in this white into the winter sky. So that way I have. A hill here. And it's just, it's very, very subtle. So then I'm going to take my small brush and we're going to begin adding some trees. You ready for this? I'm so Water ready. Water trees, so much fun. I was born ready. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit of blue to my original color. So I'm gonna make it uh, slightly darker. So it's only gonna be very, very, um, it's only gonna be slightly darker than this original color. So I don't know if you guys could see what I'm mixing, but I pretty much just added just a little bit of blue and now I have a slightly darker color. So I'm just going to begin here and I'm just going to add some long uh, rectangles. And those are going to be my trees. So I'm going to start pretty thin and you could always make them thicker at the base later on. Can 
you almost you kind of have to test the color out and see um if it's dark enough so mine is pretty good um because i want it to be um just slightly darker than the background okay so this is one of my trees and i'm just going to keep on adding more of these long thin rectangles and they're going to start at various points so this one's going to be here but then the other one could start slightly higher which means that it's it's further away and it could also be a little bit thinner than the other one can you potentially show your uh palette paper and the mixing yes oh i just got paint all over my can part of the fun <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so all I did, I'm trying to hold it with my hands. Um, so all I did was I just added just a little bit of blue to my color that I already had mixed here. So I added some blue to the winter sky. So that way it's just slightly darker than your original color. There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to continue adding these tree trunks here. And then I could even go a little bit higher. So this one's even farther away. So the ones that are starting higher are actually farther away. So they're going to be even thinner. And also, hopefully, they're going to be a little bit lighter. So I'm actually going to lighten these up a little bit. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. It doesn't need to match this side at all. It's actually, it's perfectly aligned. So let's fix that a little bit because it doesn't need to be so perfect. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit lower because I don't want it to go in like a perfect diagonal, right? Nothing's that it's perfect nature. in nature. It's nature. Exactly, exactly. And then it also doesn't even need to go perfectly straight. It could go a little bit on a curve. You know, trees on the hill, are they ever perfectly straight? Good point there. Exactly. Maybe I'll have one here, and they could even be overlapping each other. So the one in front, so I'm going to add more branches to it, but you could still see the tree trunk in back of it. So I'm just adding these rectangular long lines here. For these trees and just make sure guys that they're pretty light so they're only about like one shade darker than your background because they're pretty far away so you want them to almost blend in with the background not too dark not too dark and you could always just add more white to your paints to lighten them up a bit So now I'm just going to begin adding branches to them. So I'm just going to go with my brush. I'm going to wet it a little bit because it's easier to create thin lines when your brush is a little bit wet. So then I'm just going to branch out. Get that? Did you catch that? That was hilarious. I'm going to branch out. I sense a little sarcasm there. It was probably one of your funniest moments. Wow. <laughs> And I'm just going to continue making these branches. So I don't know if you guys could see because mine are super light. Um, try to make them darker for you. So I'm just extending my brush and I'm just applying it really 
um, lightly onto the canvas and just creating these branches. And just make sure that you're thinning them at the top so they're getting thinner and thinner as you go up the tree. I'm gonna add some water to my brushes because it's easier to extend these branches. I'm just adding these little lines all over. It's a bit intimidating to start with um, such detailed work all the way in the beginning of the painting, you know, because usually we do this part at the very end once you guys warm up a little bit. Right, it's like the finishing touches come yeah. first. So now it's a little bit reverse. The old Tarantino move. Start at the so. end and go backwards. I, I like it. You could also make your base a little bit thicker at the bottom if you want. Okay, so I'm gonna go on to the other side and, and I might come back to this one just to add more branches, I don't know. We're feeling... We're feeling what? Sparky. Sparky? And then we'll come back to the other side. Wait, Sparky? I don't know, I was thinking feisty? Spunky, feisty, feisty is probably the, the better word. Don't S focus on it, just go with it. Well, you said Sparky though. It doesn't matter what I said, that's the point. Don't focus on it. So I'm just adding these small little lines for branches and just thinning them out at the ends. And you guys could add as many trees as you want, so you could make this a much fuller forest. Um, so you could just continue adding more and more lines for the trees, but just remember if they're starting higher up, that means that they're farther away, so try to make them lighter.
So I'm going to try to add some more these here in the back. And they're starting higher up. So you could almost, you could barely see them because they're almost the same color as the background. And then I'll do the same thing here. Okay, now it looks more like a forest. How are you guys doing with your trees? And also, I, I forgot, to, I should have said this in the beginning, but you guys don't need to make these trees like that. You can make them evergreen trees as well. Pine trees, whatever you want to call them. Any kind of trees we deserve. Any kind of trees, yeah, exactly. Okay, so now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to create some shadows on the bottom of these trees. You ready? So I'm, I'm going to use pretty much the same color, but I'm going to try to make it a little bit lighter than the trees, but darker than my background. So it's a little bit tricky, but let's see what we get because I don't know how this is going to turn out. So this is... One of my shadows. I don't know if you guys can see this. So it's basically, it's almost the same color as my background. It's just a little bit darker. And then I'm going to add these to some of these trees. It doesn't need to be all of them, but adding it here. It almost looks like uh, snow hills. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with my large brush. And I'm just going to pick up the same color as my background. So whatever color I had before. And I'm, I might just go over some of these shadows and kind of just blend it in a little bit. So maybe I'm covering up some of these shadows a little bit. Because with this paint, you could actually cover up anything you want. So if your shadow looks too dark or it's too big, you could go back in with the other color and just cover. So it just looks like I completely took it away here. So I'm just making it a little bit more subtle by adding um, this other color into it. In its own way, it does. <laughs> So I'm just adding this original color that I had for this background. So the winter sky it was called. So I'm just adding it back and covering up some of my shadows. Wintery blue. Win winter sky. Pretty sure. Can I find it here? Winter sky. Don't need that. All right, guys, so I am going to move on to the truck. Oh, my God, I've been so excited for this Are truck. Are you waiting for Wait, no, lies, lies. Wow. Okay, so before wow. we... Wow. False. Okay, so before we move on to the truck, I'm actually going to cover in these um, mirrors. I learned, so many, I learned so many car parts when I was 
doing this tutorial before, like the fender and the the something else and the something <laughs> else. <laughs> and all the car parts we memorized. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm going to color in the mirrors with the same blue color. So, and if, if you guys go over the actual outline of the mirrors, it's okay because you'll be able to bring it back. So I pretty much covered most of it, but I'll be able to bring it back later. Fender and the, the, that's all I remember. Okay, so now we're ready. Now we're ready. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, are, are, okay. We, are you sure this time? I am. I'm not sure I could commit twice and... Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take my large brush, I think. Maybe I'll switch over to my small one later. So I'm just gonna take the red. Straight up red, I'm not even gonna mix it with anything. And I'm just gonna start coloring in my truck. So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm leaving out the... Darn it, the rear lights. So I'm gonna leave them out um, because they're gonna be painted in with yellow. And I'm also going to leave the license plate out. That's TBD later. Exactly. And the bumper too. And the wheels, obviously. We're leaving out a lot of parts, actually. <laughs> And I'm not getting too detailed here because I'll go back in with my small brush and I'll just get the final lines in later. I'm actually going to switch to my small brush now. I'm going to get some of these details in. And you guys are also welcome to switch up the color of the truck. It doesn't need to be red, right? It could be purple. It could be blue. It could be yellow. Whatever you guys want. I would have had to use the small brush for all of this. Why? Otherwise, there would have been red all over my blue, wintry sky blue. That's fine. To use inside the lines is a battle we fight still. Well, that's what the small brush is for. So I'm going around these rear lights because I'm going to paint them in with a different color later. And I'm actually, I'm just going to go over this tree line just so I get 
the rest of this truck in here and then I'll bring back some of the pine trees later. Pine trees, pine needles. From the tree? Yeah, the pine needles. Yeah, if it's from the tree, it's definitely pine needles. <laughs> There's only one tree on here. We both know that's false with all those trees in the background, right? Well, one uh, <laughs> pine tree. Okay, so now I'm going over these mirrors. I'm creating the, the outline around these mirrors. I'm just going to try to keep it as circular as I can. The same thing on the other side. Are mirrors that circular? This one is. Touche. Okay, so you guys might need to do um, multiple layers. So right now, I could kind of see my canvas through my car. So I'm just going to paint another layer over this. Just so I'm not seeing Can't see the, canvas. the canvas anymore. Cardinal, cardinal rule. Cardinal sin. Can't see exactly. the canvas. Exactly. Don't see any of the canvas here. It already looks like it's it's coming together, right? Slowly but surely. Because usually in our other paintings, it's like looks so messy for ninety five percent of it, and then you just add the final touches, and it's like together. Well, we already you said, know? you know, we're Tarantinoing it. We already put a lot of the uh, the final features, rough features, but. Now we have to fill in the fun details. Did we? Could have. Okay, so now we are going to add the shadows onto the fenders. So I'm just going to take just a little bit of black and I'm going to mix it into my red. And I'm just going to go over the edges of my fender. And it's going to look pretty messy now, but I'm just going to cover this up with red. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going over with the black on the edges. Okay, so then I'm just going to go in. So I'm actually going to wash my brush and then I'm going to go in with red and I'm just going to cover most of it up. So I'm just going over it with red and I'm using pretty thick paint just to cover some of this up. So that way it looks more like the shadow. Basically covered all of it up. with the red. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just covering up this 
black shadow with the red so that way it looks more smooth did you say we're about halfway we say it one more time about the giveaway or? oh my god yes how to enter how we're choosing <laughs> yes you guys, we do have a giveaway coming up later. So we're going to pick someone at random from the chat using a jewel. The more you it's comment. Gonna be, yeah, it's going to be totally random. So the more you guys comment, the more chances you have of winning this giveaway. And it's actually the first time that we're giving out this particular thing. This particular thing. Which I'm super excited about. I don't, know, I don't know about you, Alex. Is my excitement being You're like uh, shielded? suppressing it a little bit. It, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. You told me to reel <laughs> it in. I'm trying to be professional about this. All right, guys. I'm going to wash my brush and I'm going to do a little highlight on the fenders. So I'm just going to wash it pretty well. And then I'm going to just go in with white. And I'm going to do a little curve here. And it's kind of, it's blending into the other colors, which is good. And then I'm going to do another curve on the left side. And if it's not coming out right, you could always let the paint dry a little bit. And then you could add the white um, after a few minutes. And if it came out too, too intense, you could always just cover it up with red. So you could just keep going back and forth until, until you get it and until you're happy with it. Right, Alex? Indeed. I feel like it looks cooler on my screen than it does in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually, I could go back in here with red and just cover up some of this highlight here. Oh, maybe that, that was too much, but whatever. Can't mess it up because I could go back in, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Wise woman once said. What? What do you mean, what? What did the wise woman once say? You can't say? go back, mess it up. You can go back in and <laughs> paint over it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought there was another part to the story. <laughs> no, I was setting you up for what you said. Are you sure that was from the right one? Yeah, it was. Okay, so now we're going to add a shadow to the... Let me see what this part is called. No, it's not the real bumper. Hold on. Fender? No, not the fender. The tailgate. The tailgates. Thank you. I actually can't take credit for this. We have a very knowledgeable <laughs> The tailgates. Oh, my God. Ida, Ida. Why is this so hard? Ida. From Pennsylvania. She, she knew all about it. Thank you, Ida. Why am I so bad with cars? Let's not go down Let's not road. get into Let's that. Let's not get down Okay, so now I'm adding a shadow to the tailgate. So I'm going to add it underneath, and again, I'm just going to go over it with red, just so it's, it doesn't look this intense. Okay, so I'm going to go in with red. And cover it up. I'm going to remember that one for a hot second. What? What did the wise woman said? What? (laughs) (laughs) 
Someone asked a really good question. Will the video be available later? Yes. And you guys could actually rewind on the live stream. You just can't fast forward because it hasn't happened yet. But you can rewind and you could pause as well. Um, so the stream is going to be available on Facebook and on YouTube pretty much right after. Um, so you could always go back. You could go back uh, tomorrow or the next day and continue painting. Should I add a highlight to the... The tailgate wow that was a very long delay was it do we pause for dramatic, <laughs> like serious dramatic effect i was i was ready for it it's not in the official tutorial but why not let's do it okay so i'm gonna just take a little bit of white and i'm gonna add a highlight to the top of this tailgate because why the hell not we're living fearlessly we're living fearlessly we're taking risks And we're just trying things out. That actually looks pretty good. So if you guys added it and it looks too intense or too light, you could always just take it away with the red. I think I'm going to leave it here because I kind of like it. So I'm going to wash my brush again. And then I'm going to go back in. So I'm going to add a little bit of black to my red but i want to make sure that it's not too dark and i'm going to trace the outline of the back of this truck is whatever this, this part is what it's where we're making our own red just creatively red it could be i'm just throwing it out there i don't know <laughs> So I'm just going to trace this rectangle here. And again, if you guys made it too dark, you could always just go back in with the red and just cover it up. So this looks pretty good to me. So let me just check. So we actually missed a small step. So I'm just going to add it in right now. So I'm not sure if you guys did this, but we have a little bit of uh, winter sky that we need to add back in. So it's actually this section right here. So this is basically the front window of the car that you're kind of seeing. So I'm just gonna go back in and I'm just gonna add it here. So I wanna make sure that my brush is very, um, very much clean because I'm gonna add a totally different color. So I think my color's still pretty much wet here so I could still use it. Um, so it's basically that light bluish gray color that you mixed before. And I'm just going to go back in here and I'm just going to cover up this window. Oh, that came out too dark. So I'm going to add more white to it. So I'm just coloring in this little part here that was missing. Alex, you didn't tell me I missed a step here. Listen, I'm not. I'm here to support, not point out. You know. And maybe I'll add it here, but then I'm. The, most of the tree is gonna cover this anyway. But I'm just adding this here just in case. Okay, so now we're gonna wash the brush again. And then we are going to color in the rear bumper. I had to look that up for a second. Aw. Don't awe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are going to color in the rear bumper. We're going to create a gray color. So how do you make gray, Alex? 
You it's find an easy the, one. the gray bottle. A little black and white. So good. It's a cheese day. So good. Oh, cheese day. Just so I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna mix some gray, so I, you guys can't see what I'm mixing, but I basically just combined black and white. And I'm just gonna color in the rear bumper. It's gonna be like a medium to light gray-ish. If anyone has a name, let me know. And I'm also going to color in the license plate with the same color. And I'm still using my so like small in brush. the license plate? Yeah. Still trying to think what we can put on the license plate. We deviate from the classic message. We have to deviate. We don't have to necessarily. Well, we don't we have to, We can just yes. present the option that we encourage those of creative minds to deviate and, and make no their own. And no pressure at all. And make their own fun message. Well, you could also do, plate. you could do your family name. That's you could do a true. hashtag. So my my family name won't fit on there. Well, yes, you're out of the question. <laughs> I don't think yours will either. Uh, mine's exactly seven. So. But if you have a short family name, mine's exactly seven. What are you talking about? Actually, yours is perfect. Obviously. <laughs> so guys, we're also gonna add a shadow to the rear bumper. So this is not this is not that scary because we could add back the gray at any point. So I'm just going to mix in a little bit more black to my gray, just a little bit. And then I'm going to add the shadow on the bottom. So I'm just adding a darker line here on the bottom. I think what else like oh so you know so you could customize actually not just the license plate but you could customize the back of the truck so in this rectangle you could also put a message on the tailgate is that what it's called i think so yeah if i was to guess so I could definitely fit my last name on there. I think. Maybe Probably not. not. Probably not. <laughs> In two lines. <laughs> With a dash. Okay, so we created a shadow. So I'm actually, I might go a little bit darker even. On the bottom of this. Because why not? Because why not? Isn't this the best time to spend Tuesday night? What I else are you going to be doing on a Tuesday? On a monthly Come basis. On. What? I look forward to it on a monthly basis. Do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just going to add some shadow around the actual license plate just so it stands out. So I'm just going to do a rectangle outline.
too dark so i'm just gonna add maybe a little bit more white and i'm just gonna go in here and i'm gonna paint over it so that way it stands out a little bit more i'm just gonna lighten it up just a little bit not a lot a little bit just a little bit throw back to, to the 2000s I see you Bi-national multi-decade. So I just lightened it up. It, bleh, I just lightened it up, and I could probably make it even more more light. Just so when you guys do the text on here in black, it's gonna stand out even more. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I could also add a little bit of a highlight on the license plate because because why not, right? So I'm just going to add some white and I'm going to add a little line here. There's your little highlight. And then you guys could always go back in with the gray and cover it up if it just looks too much. Okay, so now I think we're ready for the wheels. So I'm just gonna wash my brush again. Do you like that sound? It's soothing. I feel like there's no time to even get a refill tonight. We're hard at work. Right? There's no breaks for the paint to dry even. Okay, so I'm gonna take the black and I'm just going to, oh, that's a lot. And I'm just going to color in my wheels with black. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh, my car is like super tilted. The bumpy road. It is a bumpy road. You know, it's nature. No one said it would be an easy drive in the snow. Like it's trucking along. Exactly. I also can't believe you just said that. <laughs> I'm just filled with puns tonight. Some Branching, trucking. Some better than others. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to create a shadow underneath the truck. And um, before we do that, do we want to refill? Do we want to refill, Alex? Okay, so I'm going to take my large brush. Oh, okay, so it's covered in red, so I'm just, I just want to make sure that I wash it really well. <laughs> Washing it really well. And then I'm going to go back in to my winter sky color, and I'm just going to add more black to it to make it this uh, darker grayish color. And I'm going to add a rectangle underneath the car. So I'm just going to do a line. So because my truck is slightly tilted, my line is also going to be tilted. So it's going to follow the line of the back bumper. And then I'm going to do another line here, and I'm just going to combine them. So I'm just combining it with my brush.
Mine is a little bit too gray. It could actually be more on the bluish side. So maybe I'll go back in and I'll add a little bit more blue to it. And then I could fix the tires in a little bit because right now my shadow is getting into my tires, which is okay because I'm going to go back in with my brush and I'm just going to fix it. The real question is, do you have your snow tires? Are you, those look a little snow thin. Snow tires. On this guy? Oh, on that guy. <laughs> I thought you meant on my actual car. No. The answer to that is no. I was like, on your actual car, I know the answer. <laughs> I feel like uh, this one wheel is twice as big as the other. See that? Not here to, you know, point out such information. I don't know. I can't Nature. tell. Does, is that, it's not man-made. You know, maybe one wheel is kind of further away in some view. <laughs> that would be a, a big problem. Misalignments. Who knows? So me, so as I'm looking at this right now, I think my right wheel is slightly bigger. So I might adjust this wheel. And I promise the traceable did not have this problem. It's just me. So maybe I'll make this one slightly bigger. All right, so now we're going to add a highlight to the, to the mirrors. So I'm just going to take my white, and I'm just going to go in here, and I'm just going to do a little curve on the side. So I feel like you guys can't really see this, so I could bring up the canvas in a second. Hold on. I don't know if you guys could see this, but I basically made a little white curve on this side and then another one on this side. Just so there's a little reflection and it looks so cute. I see what you did there. See what I did there? Subtlety. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to color the back lights, rear lights. With yellow. I'm just going to color these in with yellow. You might need a couple layers here. Do we ask for recommendations on what our license plate should be? To, yeah. To put to the public? Yeah. So can you guys let us know what you're doing for your license plate? That is, well, that'd be nice too, but what they think we should do for our license plate. Okay. So if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do with our license plate other than Ho Ho Ho, which was the original painting i don't know if you guys can see it but um yeah let us know because we might change it up last minute who knows creativity hashtag creativity boom okay so now i'm gonna take some white and i'm actually no no it's not gonna be white it's gonna be gray so again, we're going to take either the gray that we already created or I'm going to mix it again. And I'm just going to mix a nice medium gray. So let me show you guys what I have here. And then I'm going to create three little curves on the side of each wheel. So 
it's almost it's almost a straight line it's not even a curve it kind of curves at the end and here and another one here so it kind of curves all the way at the bottom but the line is almost straight throughout so that way it looks more like a tire what i did there and then i'm going to do the same thing on the other side so i'm going to do it's almost like a straight line but then it curves at the bottom And if you guys didn't get it, or maybe you didn't make it straight, or you don't like it, you could always cover it back up with the black, and then let it dry a little bit, and then redo those lines. So now it looks more like tire wheels. Okay. Great success. Great success. All right, so now I think I'm ready for the tree. Are we ready for the tree already? Okay, I'm going to take my large brush. Not even a doubt. I don't know. You didn't that answer even me. a doubt? I was born ready. Okay. So we are going to make green. So oh, Alex? Nope. Big you old negatron. Blue you and yellow. Blue and yellow, yes. So I'm taking some blue and I'm taking some yellow and I'm mixing them together. So you're just gonna play around with the proportions until you get the green that you like. So if you wanna make it lighter, you add more yellow. If you wanna make it darker, you add more blue. So you don't need to add any white to it to make it lighter. You just add more yellow. And then I'm just going to color in my tree. So I think I'm going to make it slightly darker. So I'm going to add more blue to it. I want it to be that pretty bluish green color. And I'm just coloring it in. So I'm using um, sort of vertical strokes on this We're just coloring in this tree. It looks like such a, a healthy tree. It does. Okay, so I think I colored this in, um, and I can't really see any of my canvas anymore, so I think I'm good with that.
So now, Alex, while we're waiting for the paint to dry. Don't you, is it time? Is it time? Is it time? Should I roll up my sleeves? The figurative Should I get this ones? paint out of the way? The figurative sleeves? <laughs> I have to get to my computer somehow. All right, guys, so I think we're going to do the giveaway now while we're waiting for the paint to dry. Okay. You ready? Who's ready? I'm ready. All right, so let's see if I could actually do this. Okay, so we for, so first of all, I'm going to tell you what we're giving away. It's time. It's definitely time. So we are actually giving away da, 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 da. <laughs> a brand new set of these lovely mugs that you could use while you're painting <laughs> oh, that, i'm trying to, I'm trying to like wild. get this onto the camera so you could see Point it there. well I'm, I'm trying so paint hey. water not paint water so you never have to confuse while you're painting so we're gonna send you these cool little mugs um and just to let you guys know we're only able to ship this in the U.S., so I'm sorry, uh, Australia and Canada. Wow. I'm sorry, bummer. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can do this. We are working on fixing that eventually. What? Canada and Australia and such. I mean... Yes, hopefully. Now, how do I get the link? How do I get the link for this video? Okay, got it. Bottoms. You guys ready? Drum roll. Nervous. Okay, I'm starting. I'm starting the raffle picker. All right, and the winner is. Hold on, it's still going. A lot of entries to choose from. <laughs> it's still going. Marissa Catlin. Marissa, please tell me you're not in Canada or Australia. And are you still on? You may have dropped off. Repeat the name of Mar Marissa Catlin. Is she on? And if she dropped off, we might need to pick another winner. Should we? She's in, She's in North Dakota. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So Marissa, we'll get in touch with you after uh, for your address and information, and we'll mail you these two lovely mugs um, sometime this week. Awesome. All right. We're back to our live. We're back at it. Great success. Great success. All right, and now I think I think the paint is dry. All right, so now we're gonna add some snow to this tree. You guys ready for this? Oh, now comes the fun part. Now comes the extra fun part. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna use my large brush for this. And I want to make sure that I don't have any green on it anymore. All right, so I'm going to dip this into the white. And I'm just going to dab the white onto the canvas and create these layers of um, pine. So I'm just dabbing it here. Dabbing it here. 
And it doesn't need to be perfectly horizontal layers. So you kind of just want to mix it up a bit. And you're creating these layers on the bottom. So I'm varying up my line so that it's not perfectly horizontal. Because nature is not perfect, right? Or is it in its own imperfection? So it's kind of getting a little bit messy. And it's not going to be these perfect lines. And I'm just dabbing my brush onto here. So if you guys added too much white, for example, you could always take it away with the green. So you could always go back in with some of the green. I might do that. Right? It's a very snowy tree. It is a very snowy tree. I like it. So I could always just go back in here and just get rid of some of this white if I want to. Otherwise, if I want to make it snowy, then I could leave it. And I'm just like adding back some of these lines in here using the green. And then I could go back in here with a darker green. So I'm going to add more blue and I'm going to add some of the shadow to the top of my triangles. So actually right underneath the white. So that way it looks more three dimensional, I guess. So I'm just adding some shadows to the top of these pine layers. So that's actually starting to look really cool. See what we did there, Alex? I see what you're doing there. So I'm actually um, taking straight up blue, phthalo blue, and going in here and it's blending in to the green. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this layer here. So I'm literally, I'm just using the blue. I'm not even mixing it with the yellow. And I'm just going in here to the top of my layers and just adding this shadow in here. So I kind of want to give you guys a bonus, a bonus step, but I'll do that later. All right, guys, who's ready for the star at the top? 
So this is totally optional if you guys want to keep it more um, like you would in nature, I guess. You don't have to add the star at the top, but I'm going to do it to this tree. Because why not? We want to make it very festive. So I'm just going to add a star here using yellow. So I'm just going to do a triangle. Here, and then I'm just going to do the other two ends here. And your star might need a couple of layers just because the yellow um, is a little bit thin. Happens to meet the horizon in the sky. <laughs> That's a good one. It could be anything your heart desires, but yeah. I think it's an ornament. Or you could just crush my dreams and hopes. Like <laughs> it's an actual star that happens to like be right aligned with a tree. Is that what you're saying? What? What? All right, guys, so before we do the license plate, which I, I didn't get any ideas from you guys, so I'm still waiting for someone to suggest some license plate ideas. So whether it's a name or a hashtag or a, I don't know, holiday thing or what else can it be? What else can it be? Our license plate? Our license plate? No, I'm asking. Oh, yeah, our license plate. Wow. Which wise woman? Huh? <laughs> what else can it be? Thinking. Holla so while we think on that. Goodbye, 2020. No way. Bye bye. All right, guys, so if you want to make it a little bit snowier, so we're going to do this bonus step right now. So I'm going to just paint some snow on here because it's just it's such a snowy scene. And I feel like there needs to be some snow, you know, falling down. Right. So I'm actually going to take both of my brushes. And I'm just going to wash them really, really well. This is like this is my favorite step. Are we adding a little snow? We are. Okay, so I'm gonna take. What would your brush I'm taking? I think I'm taking my large brush. I'm gonna take my large brush and I'm gonna dip it into the white paint. And then I'm gonna take it above my small brush and I'm just gonna hit it. So I'm gonna actually practice on my palette paper first because Always I wanna, practice first. wanna get into the groove a little bit, Always see what happens, first. and then move on to my canvas. So hold on, so let me actually slide this up and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just taking this brush and I'm hitting it. So that way it's drizzling this white paint all over. So that actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to move over. I'm getting it all over my computer. I, I... The look of it. So I'm going to raise this up. So you could see it, so you could kind of see the snow coming down. And you could go crazy with it, or you could just make it light flurries. You could also use a toothbrush. Only well, if you got some this. So this is super fun. So then you could also go in with your small brush and just paint uh, circles with your white paint. And guys, again, this is a totally optional step. If you want to leave it as not such a snowy day, you're more than welcome to. And I'm just adding some dots 
with the white paint. Make it snow. You could also make them different sizes. So I could make some of these snow flurries bigger, smaller, so they could be varied in size. All right, so what am I writing? Am I writing ho, ho, ho? Joy, Grandpa, Barry, I see you too. And then a, again, guys, you could also customize the back of the truck. So not only the license plate, but this part. So that can be something really fun. Some racing stripes on it. See ya. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, so I'm going to use my small brush. And I'm going to use uh, black paint for this. So I'm going to do ho, 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 because it's classic. And I'm just trying not to have my hand shake it's really hard. And then just remember, guys, if, you, if for whatever reason, you mess this part up, you could always just let it dry a little bit and then cover it up with the light gray and then just paint over it again. So you could change the license plate as many times as you want. This is why I love acrylic paints. You could just go back over it. You could just go back over it. Oh, that is a great idea, Ida. So Ida says that you could just write in a Sharpie after the paint completely dries. That is actually an awesome idea. I did not think of that, thank you. We're gonna be brave here and we're gonna try it out with paint. And guys, I don't think I said this yet, and I probably should have said this at the beginning, but I would love to see what you guys have created. So if you're posting it on social or anywhere else, please tag us, use hashtag creatively box so we see it and we could potentially repost it onto our, our Instagram. This is really intense. Here we go. I'm, I'm already up to the third word. What do you mean, here we go? And you guys are welcome to add more ornaments to the tree, add a Santa somewhere in the background. So really whatever you want, this is your painting. Oh, so you know what I forgot to do? I miss. No. <laughs> that, is, that, that is one of the steps. No, so I did not show you guys what we have planned for our next event, which is actually January 5th. So if you guys enjoy this event, please give us a like on uh, the feed. But also, I would love for you to join us on our next event. And I'm trying to um, get this. I'm trying to reach for it. Oh, got it. Got him. So this is actually our next painting, which I love so much. I think this is one of my favorite paintings. It's called Winter Wonderland. And we're going to be painting it on January 5th. And this one actually doesn't need a traceable. It's super easy. 
um, and it's also a lot of fun. So I hope you join us. It's going to be the first Tuesday of the month, which is January 5th, and it's going to be in the new year, which is kind of scary, but we're glad that this year is over. So I think that's it, guys. Did I miss any steps, Alex? Sign it. Did we get everything? You gotta so we sign just it. To, we just need to sign you it. Gotta sign it. Yeah. So the last step, guys, is to sign your painting, of course. Um, and you obviously you created a really beautiful piece. So I hope you give it to someone special. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And please, please, please share it with us. So don't forget to use our hashtag #CreativelyBox. So thank you guys for joining. This was so much fun. Thank you. We had a wonderful time. I had a wonderful time. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a very happy holiday and we'll see a wonderful on... new year. Absolutely. And happy what? and healthy. Happy and healthy. And we'll see them. And we'll see them in 2021. Boom. Bye, guys. Wait, we need to end with bye. Bye. <laughs>